Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to fix a Facebook incorrect thumbnail issue in WordPress. Now you may notice from time to time as you work with WordPress and with Facebook that when you post an article or you do something on Facebook that sometimes the image does not match what the blog post is saying or does not match what you intended for the picture to look like. And simply, this can just be that Facebook just doesn't know which image to use to represent the blog post or article that you're sharing on Facebook. So as we see here, we're on the My Theme Shop Facebook page. And if you go to there, please give us a like. We definitely appreciate it. But it's one of those things, as you notice, we have images that go with the blog post or the content that we're trying to share. It's one of those things where the image might be sometimes the first visual thing that one of your customers or clients or somebody who finds out about your business might see first. And so if the image does not go along with what the blog post or the article is about, that can definitely frustrate some people. So it's one of those things where you want to make sure that Facebook is showing the correct image that you want to use. But a lot of times they are simply guessing. So you got to give them the correct image so that they don't have to guess. You see, Facebook uses open graph tags, or also known as OG tags. And this lets Facebook know which image to use. So that way there's no confusion. Now there's great plugins that we'll get into here in a second, but it's one of those things where there could be issues such as a caching issue, could be another plugin, could be if you're using a CDN, um, it could be that if you're missing an open graph tag for an image for an example, there could be other Facebook thumbnail issues that are causing you the problems, but we're going to go ahead and try to fix this. So of course, one of the easiest ways to do this is just to simply manually upload your thumbnail image. Now again, if you're on your Facebook page, and as we are here, you see our images again, they line up to what our blog posts are. So when we're up to uploading our blog post, we can simply sit there and we can put, we can add the image that we want to show. So that way we know that there's no issues. And you could do the same thing. So when you're on your Facebook page, and you want to send a link or you add a link and you add in your content, like, you know, maybe a teaser, like, hey, come check out our 25 best recipes for whatever or whatever, you know, your, you know, your Facebook page is about. It's simply one of those things where now you want to add an image to go along with that blog post or the article or wherever you're trying to send people to. But sometimes if somebody else tries to share this image, for an example, if they try to share a link from your Facebook page, it might go back to your actual WordPress website to show whatever your website is saying that, hey, this is the image that you're supposed to show. So a lot of times it's best to use a plugin. Now for this video, I'm going to show you how to use the plugin called Yoast. Simply go to your dashboard and your admin area and go to plugins and add new. Now simply search for Yoast. It's spelled Y-O-A-S-T and typically is the first one that comes up. Simply install it and activate it and now you're ready to go. Now with this plugin, you have many, many choices and options that you, know, you can work with. But we're just going to simply show you how to specify which Facebook image to use. So I'm going to go to a blog post here, just a random blog post. And I'm going to show you how this works. So once you write a blog post or you go back to a previous blog post to edit it, simply go to the bottom after your text and whatever else you have for your theme and look for the Yoast SEO settings. So we're just going to where it says Yoast SEO and we're going to click on this little three dot uh, with lines kind of for sharing. You know, we have Facebook and we have Twitter, but we're going to look at the Facebook one. And now this gives you the option to override whatever, you know, Facebook might be saying. So you can put a Facebook title, put the Facebook description, and now the Facebook image. So what this will do is now when you go to Facebook and you just type in the URL for this specific blog post, it'll automatically know what to put because you're actually putting in the information. So it'll put the Facebook title, here's the description, and it will know which Facebook image to use. So again, this is super simple, very easy. And with just a simple plugin, you can make sure that all your thumbnails look great. 
although the plugin usually works most of the time, it's one of those things where you might still get the same incorrect thumbnail issue. So we have to use a debugging tool that Facebook creates. Now you can search for this, but simply type in Facebook and debug tool and look for the developers dot Facebook area and you can enter in your information and it'll tell you what is wrong. So if it tells you for an example that your image is not big enough, then you know that you need to use a bigger image. It'll let you know what the issue is and that way you can fix it. Because again, you might be using a blog image that is too small. So it's one of those things where this debugging tool will tell you what's wrong and you should solve your issue. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.